All right, guys, we are at um, a uh, kind of an emergency call where there's iguanas that are actually stuck in an open atrium that's in these different condos. We've seen this before. Y'all have seen it on some of our early videos, but it's always green iguanas. <clears throat> so the excitement of this one is it's spiny tail instead, and it's two spiny tails, and one's a male. So um we might have a little bit of excitement we're gonna see if we can snag these guys without getting bit so i have a towel but the truck is broken down today so i don't have my gloves so we're gonna see how this goes Jesus. all right so we have the male spiny tail right here hanging on the screen he's kind of messing up the screen for the gentleman and then the female was in the back corner back there i don't see her at the moment but she's actually bigger than the male so i'm gonna try to sneak in here i'm afraid that he's gonna go up and i want to snag him with the pole we're gonna go ahead and lock it you coming in or are you gonna film him go I'm gonna hold your towel. You may need me to position. I want you to come all the way in and shut the door before he moves. Technically, these guys can climb out of this atrium, but the guy said that both spiny tails have been in there for three days. Okay, remember there's a big female in here to our right. I'm gonna try to lock this pole so he doesn't get away here. He might dive here because he doesn't like the string. He's watching the guy. The guy's helping us move it around. Spiny tail has no clue. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It popped off. That's the problem. Tighten it up. Too big. Draw it up. My pole's draw not it tight. Up. My pole's not tight. It won't draw up. You see my pole given? Yeah. Let me hold it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. There. And something's stuck. Okay, mm -hmm. we've got him. I'm going to do this. Keep him tight. Like this, the string. Got that. Remember, he can come back on you. Let me get the towel. Let me get over. I don't want to rip his screen. You okay? You okay? I'm going to uh, hand grab it with the towel. Here we go. And let's go. All right. We're going to take this off of here. Let's going to rip it, though. There we go. Okay, we've got the boy. Let me just see if I see the girl. Oh, it's not a girl. It's another male. Oh, no. He's right here in the corner. He looks like he doesn't feel good. Like maybe he's dehydrated. This one looks just fine. He's in perfect health. So we're going to pull this off of this guy's nose. This is the one we just got. Male spiny tail. So let me tape his mouth. Recently I was a dummy. Let one snip me. Not gonna have it happen. Got you spiny tail. Right there. Hold my iguana while I get my iguana. Here. What was catching? Look, this is what happened, what went wrong last time. Because the pole had broken and we um, fixed it, we haven't been able to go get Dave's new pole yet. Thanks, Dave, again, for the card. We haven't been able to go get the new pole yet just because we haven't made it to the shop. So, the feral wouldn't pull past. Now my snare might not get big enough. I'm going to have to get rid of this just for a second. You might want to pause and I'm going to put tape on. In the tape, it's done. I'm going to pull off the trash tape. I think this guy's not even going to move. He looks not okay. Here we go. He is not really discouraged. Lift your head up, buddy, so I can get it on you. Oh, 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 more than I 
Oh, 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 Lift your heel up a little. Lift it. Hang on. All right, I've got him. You can lift up. Got you, Spiny Tail. So this guy, he is not dehydrated. He was just sitting still on us. Waiting to ambush somebody. So there he is, don't trust him. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. He's an excellent health, perfect tail. The other one's doing great too. So he just has these males. Let's make sure he doesn't have some sort of hole dug under the pots. Now these guys, we need to find out how long they've been in here. Um, he's not gonna be able to do a whole lot about preventing them from getting in here because um, it, the, all of these are connected and all of them are stucco. So iguanas will always be able to climb up the sides. They, even if he does something at his condo, the next condo and the next condo would have to do the same thing as a prevention. So that's when the HOAs come into play and have like almost an obligation to help these people out and do iguana removal. Got you, spiny tail. I have seen houses that feed the ducks, but this, this is a new one, y'all. This is a new one. Ten peacocks in the front yard. And yes, they're wild. They wander this neighborhood, but clearly these people feed them. Invasive species, South Florida. There is a monster spiny tail on the ground right here. I don't know where he's gonna go. Hola, spiny tail. You gonna go through the fence? You gonna let me catch you on the fence? Go through the fence, do it, do it, you dummy. Do it. Ha <laughs> ha, we hand caught him. Got him in the fence. Got you, giant spiny tail. Oh man, y'all, he's huge. Oh, I'm gonna put the phone down so he doesn't bite me. No escaping giant spiny tail. Uh-huh, you didn't think it was gonna go down like that, did you? <laughs> Let's see. We can get video of this boy. Hey buddy! What you doing? Look at him, y'all. He's dehydrated. We need some water. Look at him. He's a little skinny too. That is a big spiny tailed iguana. Got you spiny tail. There we go. Look at him. I'm trying to zoom out. I'm gonna stop it and zoom out. How big he is. That is a big boy spiny tail right there. He's even kind of fancy. Got you, big boy. Got you, spiny tail. Hand catching spiny tailed iguanas with iguana solutions. <laughs> he says, hey. Just gonna show you a couple quick invasive species. The top lizard is a male brown basilisk. He's kind of a juvenile, he's not fully grown. And then the one on the right is an adult curly-tailed lizard. Both of these are invasive species. The curly tails will eat each other and anything they can fit in their mouth. The basilisks are more um, aggressive towards smaller things, but they will um, completely pursue like a baby frog or a small frog. Not a baby frog, that's a tadpole. But a small frog or um, other small animals that it can catch. And um, I've heard of where they'll all run in groups chasing our natives until one of them finally catches it. Because this is the Jesus lizard that can run on its back legs. He's very fast. Curly tailed lizard, I think they're from the Bahamas, in the islands in the Caribbean. Brown basilisk from South America. More invasives in South Florida. There's a duck 
that we've been hired to get under here. I'm gonna see if I can pull her out. She's setting, so she's trying to make even more ducks, and that's exactly what they don't want. I kinda can't get my arm in. I'm having to dig a hole to make a spot to even be able to reach in to grab her. It's gonna mess me up. Here we go, let's see if we can get her. She's biting me. Got her. Got you, duck. Got her. All right. So we got the Muscovy duck, and they're going to be happy. Got you, duck. All right, I pulled all of her eggs out. Whenever you see fluff like this, that means that the duck is setting. That means she started incubating the eggs already. So that starts the count of 28 days for this, these eggs to hatch. I think Muscovies hatch in 32 days. They have some of the longest incubation for ducks and fowl. Um, so we pulled these eggs out. I'm gonna throw them away and we will be putting down this duck. And crazy lady over there doesn't get to do anything about it. She freaks out and claims they're her ducks but won't keep them on her property. She's nuts. Okay, we're over here at our uh, friend's house. We've worked here quite a few times. Here's a good size iguana right here on the dock and we're gonna go snap. Oh, he had it under his arm. I knew he was spinning funny. I thought maybe I'd hooked him wrong. Our pole's a little broken, so I couldn't get a good uh, tight noose on him. He's also extra feisty. Get him in the light. Got you, Iguana. No getting away. We usually don't have him get away like in this sort of situation. So his buddy's in the trap. We got them both. And um, we'll be back Monday. Go. I'm getting up on my wall. We got him around the waist. That's why he was spinning so funny. It's a male. Showing that weird polka dotted pattern we get this time of year. I'm not sure what that's about. We don't see it all the time on them. It seems to be a seasonal thing, but it's definitely a male. So, got you eat one, huh? No more construction at once. Really tall bird. 
The bird stands about three feet tall, maybe? Three and a half. Last time I came here, they had a pair like this that had a young baby with them, a fledgling. It's pretty cool. He's still there. He's at the same exact spot again. Didn't even move. Good job. The iguana was already coming out. Okay, we're right here at a spot to show you the type of damage people get. So we just had a couple of iguanas get away from us here because they can go down holes. And so you can see on the corner of this dock the type of pile of poop you can expect if you don't do something about an iguana. There's um, enough poop there probably to fill at least a pint and a half container. Um, just in that one spot. It's probably from that single male that got away from me a minute ago. He got in the water. And then you can see an excess of poop here on the ground. All along here. They're pretty big. I just want to give you a scale. These things are big poops. Like um, what you'd expect out of a Pomeranian or so. And then this is where the iguanas disappeared. This is the type of damage that the HOA is concerned about. They actually have private bridges. And they need these bridges to last. And the iguanas have dug out behind it and under it. You can see the actual tail marks, but we have video of the iguanas going in the holes. I just had one dive in this hole. You can see all the way through to the other side. This is the bridge the cars are driving on. The iguanas dig this out. They dig up. This is not erosion doing this part. This is iguanas digging this out, and then erosion washes the parts away that they dig out. So you can see the wood is now rotted, and all they have are concrete slabs, which are now cracking. So iguana damage is real. This is not cheap to fix. Type of stuff that people do not want to happen. All right, we have a sneaky mail right here on top of the, uh, the pillar. We got a FedEx guy watching. We don't want to see one of the big things.
got you iguana and now the FedEx can pass. Got you iguana. <laughs> <laughs> he thought that was funny. This might be the big boy that was hanging out right there yesterday. We couldn't take a shot because he was too close. He looks like looks the same like him to one. me. He sure does look like him. So um, we'll have to see if there's a reduction in poop right there on the corner. But got you anyway. 